Hey guys, Scott here. Just want to make a quick video about the builds that I've been using for keys. Because, I mean, let's face it, keys have become pretty useless for their base function, which is opening the hatch. It's very rare you actually have the opportunity to do that. And even if you do, if the killer's nearby, you still can't open it because there's actually a progress bar. Now, basically, keys were pretty heavily deleted. Um, There are some gimmick builds, like you use left behind and stuff like that, and you can still try to get value from the key. Um, but I think using the aura reading functions of keys is a far better option. So what I've been doing for the past couple of days is this is by far the strongest use of a key. It's basically the wall hack build. Uh, I made a short video about it uh, before, but I wanted to actually explain the perks and the uh, add-ons and the item and stuff like that. So uh, you can do this with any key. Uh, typically, you'd want to use it with the skeleton key, the pink one, because it simply has longer use time. But if you want to use it with the green key, that's fine as well. Um, so the green key with this build there's a lot of like modifiers to the actual duration that it'll last uh, but basically it's going to last something like 18 seconds uh, you have 18 seconds of wall hacks per use and then you can use um, build to last to reset that use now the reason it lasts like that is because the green key is 10 seconds of duration but the blood amber makes it burn twice as fast however then we use the bead add-on which is the yellow add-on to give 15 seconds more duration and then we also use Streetwise to have more efficiency on top of that. So you still end up getting actually a ton of duration. And you don't really need that much duration in a chase. It's pretty rare you're going to burn through an entire key during one chase. Because what you want to do is when you leave line of sight with the killer, that's when you want to actually start burning your key to see them through the wall. You don't want to just constantly have it on. I mean, if you have a skeleton key, you can do that. Because honestly, you get like 40 seconds of use out of it. It's insane. So with the skeleton key, it doesn't matter. You can just hold it on the entire time. Just remember to unhold it when you need a vault because you can't do both. Um, but for the most part, you want to use the key when the killer gets out of line of sight just to see if they're trying to mind game you and try to moonwalk you. Basically, you're just immune to all mind games with this build, um, which is really strong. So you only need two perks for this. It's just built to last and street wise. Um, really, the main thing is going to be the item itself. Um, the uh, the beat add on is pretty common. It's, I have a ton of those considering and never really use keys. I'm willing to bet most people have a ton of key add-ons because no one really ever uses keys anymore. So I'm willing to bet people have a lot of these things to use. Um, Blood Embers are a bit more rare, but if you have any white wards, you can save them with that as well. Um, that's the thing though. Uh, Blood Amber is not the only aura reading effect of the key. You can also like see allies and stuff like that too. Um, so you can give yourself the perk bond. Uh, you can do a lot of interesting stuff with keys, which is why I legitimately think keys are still better than flashlights because they actually have a, a function even against good killers, they're uh, actually against good killers. They're better than flashlights because being able to just see a good killer try every mind game through a wall and them not being able to succeed ever is stronger than, in my opinion, anything a flashlight could ever do. Um, so this build in particular is pretty good. You can definitely go the fine teammates way as well. Um, if you want to go for like a healer build instead of running empathy, you can run, um, you know, I forget the, uh, the add on. It's a green add on for it, but um, you can see teammates as well. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to go over what I've been using all my keys on. And uh, this build is sort of stupid because, yeah, you just there's just no mind games for the killer anymore. You just see them everywhere. You can't ever be ambushed unless it's a stealth killer. That's the only time because if you are, uh, if the killer is undetectable, you won't be able to see any auras. So that's the only thing that's going to be countering this. And I think we got one ghost face that actually still got damaged me because, you know, you can't just constantly be... Uh, aware of where their killer is you're just going to burn through your whole thing the whole point of the build is just to use it when you're getting chased to completely negate any mind games the killer has so if you got a bunch of keys burning a hole in your inventory which i'm sure a lot of you do since they nerfed them i definitely recommend this build you can use whatever other two perks you want they can be chase perks gen perks do whatever you want um as long as you're running built to last and treat wise you're going to have basically over a minute of wall hacks per match which is usually enough for multiple chases and enough to completely dismantle any uh, mind games the killer has so definitely recommend it um that's it thanks for watching